Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I am Yu Chi Chen. I am come from uh, Chengdu University, Thailand, Taiwan. Today, I will present my study uh, about the effects of heart stroke in souls and get of knee osteoarthritis. Introduction. Individuals with knee osteoarthritis experience pain, stiffness, and decreased range of motion of the joints. These symptoms limit an individual's daily activities, such as riding from a chair, standing comfortably, walking, or climbing stairs. Lateral wage insoles are often designed as one of the conservative treatments for patients with medial compartment knee OA. Lateral wage insoles have been shown to be a successful treatment to reduce patients' symptoms. The study analyzed the effects of five degree lateral wage insoles on the gait of 17 health subjects. There were no significant difference in temporal and spatial parameters, triangle at hip, knee, and ankle, or kinematics at the hip and ankle. But the, uh, the various mo uh, moment and and the virus moment and media compartment load at the knee were reduced significantly using the lateral wage insoles. Many studies analyze, uh, analyze the biomechanical effects of lateral wage insoles on patients with knee OA. They all show that the lateral wage insoles significantly reduce the knee joint vi uh, knee virus at the moment. The arch spot insoles are widely prescribed by retailers based upon claims that the aid in shock absorption provide increased stability and support and maintain proper foot position during walking and running. Molded insoles are also designed as one of the conservative treatments for patients with knee OA in clinics. But little studies have been published that attempt to provo uh, prove the biomechanical effects of welding shoes and arch molded insoles. Therefore, the purpose of the study was to assess the kinematics and kinetics effects on OA knee by welding shoes and arch spot molded insoles. Methods. Participation. The other subjects. 12 adults with both knee osteoarthritis attended in uh, our study. The table shows that the mean and the standard deviation of their age, height, weight, and the index <coughs> of the spatial uh, for the knee OA. Uh, the shoes and the insole uh, were used in our study. Uh, the, uh, the subjects had a wore their own shoes and the insoles. The insoles were molded by the clinical uh, podiatrist and, uh, with the aim of correct the uh, alignment of the foot. Uh, instrumentation, an eight camera motion analysis system uh, was used in the study. Uh, sampling rate is set at 100 hertz and the two first plays were used, the sampling rate is 1,000 hertz. Also check software was used to calculate the kinematic and kinetic data. Mark, uh, marker placement, 15 reflective markers uh, with the head and head set up, attached on the subject's lower extremity. In the shoulder test conditions, the two marker was uh, the two marker were attached on the vent of the shoes. Next, data were collected and analyzed in three conditions: walking barefoot, walking with shoes, walking with the shoes and the insoles. Uh, using also track motion analysis uh, analysis system for the data analysis. 
uh, include uh, the temporal spatial parameters, climatic parameters, connect parameters. SPSS software was used for the uh, statistical analysis. A repeat major ANOVA compared the temporal spatial, kinematic, and kinetic parameters during the same space under three conditions. Results are the kinematic data. Uh, the figures show that working with shoes and working with shoes and insoles significantly increase the peak ankle dose deflation ankle angle compared to walking barefoot. Walking with shoes and insoles is significantly increase the peak ankle external rotation angle and reduce the peak ankle inter internal rotation angle compared to walking barefoot. The peak knee flexion angle angle significantly increased in the walking with shoes and insoles compared to the walking barefoot. And uh, there were no uh, significant differences in the hip joints and angles among the three conditions. About the kinetic data, the hip ankle external rotation moment was significantly smaller in the walking with shoes and walking with shoes and insoles than in the walking barefoot. Um, there were no significant differences in the knee and hip joint forces and joint moment among the three conditions. This question. The results in our study indicated that arch sport insoles and shoes have uh, an effect on the ankle joint, but little effect on the knee or hip joints. Uh, the results were the same as that reported by Nestor. However, they investigated the effects of the orthotics for normal gait. The limitation may be the instrumentation and measurement technique used in the experiment were not, uh, were not precise to evaluate the potential effects of the foot orthosis on the knee and the hip joints. The findings in the present study show that the peak ankle external rotation angle significantly increased in the walking with the shoes and in soles condition. It implied that the subject in our study tended to walk with an outer gait. The outer gait has the potential to reduce the knee various moment by moving the, moving the ground region force vector post closer to the knee joint center. But unfortunately, the result in our findings show that the peak knee various moment was not reduced by wearing the shoes and doing so. Although the subject in our study tended to work with an outer gait. The reason that foot osteosis has less effect on the knee or hip joint may rest, uh, restrict finding the significant difference in the knee uh, various moment. The results presented in the study provide, uh, provided an insight into the immediate effects of the shoes and arch support insoles. It is not clear whether these effects persist or are likely to change over a longer time. Conclusion, the experimental findings presented in this study show that shoes and arch support insoles mainly affect the ankle joint, but have little effect on the knee or hip joint. The findings suggest that the description must be used with regard to the type of orthotic insoles, since they will not significantly reduce the knee various moment for OA patients. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. And question for her, please. Okay, uh, first, 
video controls the working speed of the, the barefoot and the, with the shoe. I think the working speed is different. And the speed of that I move a lot. And the second, you want to understand the arch support effect. But finally, you only compare shoe without shoe. What is different between shoe and arch support? Music. Well, he now studied this, uh, the data and could not see the difference between the two conditions. You want to do more? I want to, uh, but the uh, experience to me may be, maybe, maybe modified. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, I feel the comment on this one because I haven't been coming this for the past 10 years. Okay, so I, I'm eligible to say something for that. Okay. So this is what you've done for 10 years. So I can say the challenge. Actually, you are, it's not surprising you won't see any differences in the hip and the knee joints. Because the ankle joint is so complicated. The jaw is very complicated. Then, you have to increase the length of the length. So, the OA is at 2. 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 I have done many years, and I finally found out why some arch support work. 像刚才这位骨科医师问说，为什么要加足弓垫？足弓垫在八零年代跟九零年代的时候，很多做鞋垫的人都加足弓垫，后来发觉没什么效果。The reason for that is， 不是每个 OA 的脚都是高弓足，不是高弓足，你给他穿鞋不？不是扁平足或是高弓足，你给他穿鞋垫干嘛？没有意义。而且你可以看出来，事实上你的那个鞋垫哈。事实上是很高的，你的鞋垫很高，而且事实上你可以发觉你的 pick 的点是不对的，因为你可以发觉它在你在那个呃 p a s s e l break 的位置特别高起来，那你必须要告诉人家你为什么要这样 design， OK， 因为它的支撑点不一样，还有一个很重要，为什么大部分人都是用 d a t a wedge， 它是有它的 purpose， 因为 d a t a wedge 它可以 shift 那个 v a r i o u s moment， increase the moment on。这大家都知道了，很少人会用 arch support 去做。为什么刚才有一个学生报他用 arch support？ 他只针对属于高弓足的 OA 脚才给 arch support， 要不然你是不需要给的。OK？ 另外一个给你一个 comments， 就是说，呃。